In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to add some NPCs into your RPG Maker MZ game. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now what I've done in the meantime is I've done up this in, and I've also created a level for it, so we're just going to flip over to that there. As you can see, I've already done the transfer events, and I've already done the door event to get into the inn. So moving over to the inn, what we want to do is up here, click over into the events tab. We just want to right click behind the counter here. We're going to scroll down to quick event creation, then we're going to click inn. And what that's going to do is it's going to auto-generate the event process for an inn. So all you need to do is select the image, and then the price for what it is for one night at an inn. So we're just going to make that 30 gold pieces and hit OK. Now that's auto-generated an NPC for you. If we double click on her, you'll see all of these event conditions that have been laid out. We're going to get into that a bit later, but all you need to know is if you want to create a quick in, that's all you need to do is right click, quick event creation, in. Now to show this working, we're just going to right click again, quick event creation, treasure chest, and we're going to change our gold by 30. Hit OK. Now we'll jump on into game just so I can show you that one NPC. So here we go, we're at the Sea Wind Inn. Now if we walk up to her, 30 gold for one night, would you like to stay? You don't have enough money. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner here, I don't have enough money to stay at this inn. What we're going to do is open up this chest. 30 gold was found. Now if we try this again, would you like to stay for one night? 30 gold. Yes. And there we go, we've stayed for the night in the inn, and it's taken 30 gold out of our inventory. That's the last quick event that I needed to show you, and that's how to very quickly just make an NPC to run your inn. For our next NPC, we're going to be creating a shop. So I've gone ahead and created the level for the shop and connected it via doors. So this is going to be the weapon shop. What we want to do is, in the events tab, double click on an area, and we're going to load up an image by double clicking this space here. Then we're going to find what NPC we want for our weapon shop owner. I'm going to use this man here. Over here in the content section we want to double click, and this will open up the event commands. We'll go into much more detail later on about what all of these different event commands do. But for the sake of this NPC, we want to show some text, and he'll just say, Would you like to buy some weapons? Underneath that, we're going to double click again and show choices. There's going to be a yes or a no. When we choose yes, we want to double click here, and go over to the third tab in the event commands, and hit shop processing. And this is where we can add the different items that the player is able to purchase. So if we double click here, you can see we can sell items, weapons, or armor, and the price can be standard or we can specify a specific price for this one shop owner. So we're just going to have the price at standard at the moment, change the merchandise to weapon, we're going to add one short sword. And now he has one short sword for sale for 300 gold. We'll add a few more in there, we'll add a long sword, we'll add a wooden staff, we'll add a hand axe. And we'll click purchase only, which means the player can't sell any items to this NPC, they can only buy items. So we're going to hit OK, and now he'll say, would you like to buy some weapons? If you say yes, then it's going to open up a little menu where you can buy different weapons. If we say no, then he'll just say, come back when you want to buy some weapons. Now this whole choices section is self-contained. So when you say yes, it'll do this. When you say no, it'll do that. After it's finished whatever choice you've done, it'll continue on with the rest of the event. So just at the very end, we're going to have him say, Thank you, come again anytime, and hit apply. Now we have a shop, so we'll go into the game and test that one out. And here we're in the weapons shop, so we can walk around, walk up to him, and hit the action key, which is usually spacebar. Would you like to buy some weapons? No. Come back when you want to buy some weapons. Thank you, come again anytime. Would you like to buy some weapons? Yes. And that's going to open up this. You can sell, which we can't do at the moment. You can cancel, which will back out of the shop. Or you can buy. If we hit buy, 
that will load up the different items that you can purchase off him. So you can see there's the short sword, long sword, wooden staff, hand axe. And now we've created a shop NPC. Now we're just going to add an NPC that's walking around town and you can have a conversation. So we're going to double click, we'll just call this NPC Elliot. Then we're going to select an image, this one right here. And now we don't want him standing still, we want him walking around town. So over here, where it says fixed, this means he's not going to move whatsoever. If we scroll down to random, then he's going to move around randomly. Now the speed is how fast he moves around, and the frequency is how long it takes for him to move from one tile to the next tile to the next tile. So we're going to make his speed, leave that the same, and have the frequency at highest. And he's just going to be randomly walking around town. Now over here in contents, we're going to show text, and we're going to load up a face image for him. So this is Elliot right here, we're going to load up his face. We're also going to add a name, and what this does is when the text box appears, this name will appear above it. And he's just going to say, Morning Reed, did you notice? They renovated the inn. And we're just going to hit OK. Now we're going to hit Apply and OK. Now when we load into game, he'll be walking around town and we'll be able to talk to him. See, you see he's just walking around randomly. Now we'll walk over to him. Morning Reed, did you notice? They renovated the inn. And he's just going to continue going along his way. If we talk to him again, he'll be saying the exact same thing. Morning Reed, did you notice? They renovated the inn. But he's just going to keep walking around the town randomly like that. Just lastly, a fun NPC you can add. We'll double click. And under the image, we're just going to put nature, and you can select a cat. We're going to change the frequency to the highest, and change the speed to be just a teeny bit faster than normal. And this time, we're going to be having the cat run around in circles. So what we'll do is, instead of fixed or random, or approach, which this one here will make the NPC approach the character at all times, we're going to do a custom move route. So if we click on Route here, we can set specifically where this NPC is going to move. So we're going to make him move down, left, left, up, up, right, right, down. And that's going to be a complete circle. To make sure that he's moving in the right direction, MZ has a brand new function where you can preview where the NPC is going to move. Now he's also going to repeat the movements, and we're not going to have him skip if he can't move. If he can't move, he's just going to wait until whatever's blocking him moves out of the way so he can continue moving. So let's show that in game. There we go, now you see this cat running around up here, and if I get in his way, he'll stop moving. Now that I'm out of his way, he's going to keep moving and running in circles. He's stopped moving. There we go. And as you can see, Elliot over here is still roaming around the town by himself. Adding these sorts of moving NPCs gives life to your town and makes it feel more natural. I hope this video has helped you guys out. In the next tutorial, we're going to be going over how to create your very own character. So you're not stuck with the main character, Reed. You can make your very own character, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, on your way to the next video, I would really appreciate it if you scroll down and hit the like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and gets my video out to more people. And I'll see you guys in the next video.